Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jules. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new bronzers and highlighters by the brand Give Beauty. I also have a couple of other products that are new to me from the brand. So if you'd like to see all of these products in action and hear my thoughts at the very end, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, I am ready for some contour at this point. I have already done my brows and my foundation. I went ahead and just evened out the lids with my foundation as well. I'm gonna be using some new Give products on the lids today as well. So I'll get into that here in a minute. But I did go ahead and contour this side of the face. I just wanted to test it out for myself and play around with it before I demoed it for you. So this is how this side looks already contoured. And now I'm gonna take you through this side, which does not have any contour on it. So here is the product right here, of course, by Give Beauty. This is called the Pick It Up Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. The um, shade that I picked up is Heat Wave. It is the darkest of all of the shades. And so this is the cream contour right here. And it looks like I have already patted into it because I did already contour this side of the face. I have not used the powder bronzer yet. So here is a swipe on my finger just so you can see the color. Looks really rich, deep, and pigmented. Keep in mind, your contour is for chiseling the face. So it is typically gonna be more of a gray type of shade. And then your bronzer is what is warm and bronzy, kind of that sun-kissed look. So we have both of them in here. And you can see the difference of the two as I described it there. So I will go ahead and swatch this here on my arm as well, just so you can see it. I'm gonna be using my Patrick Ta contour brush. It is dirty because I have already used it to contour this side of the face. But let's get into it and I will show you how I do this side. So I have just been taking my brush and just patting into this gently and let me show you this brush that I'm using. So you can see that this side is more fluffy. This is the more dense side and it's a little bit thinner. That is where I like to pack the product and build from. And then I like to use this fluffy portion to blend it out. So I'm just gonna take that more dense edge and pick up a little bit of product, about that much. You can see that I've got some on there. And then I'm gonna take this and start tapping that in to this area of the skin. So you can see that um, it is pretty contrasting on my skin there, but I'm gonna continue to just use this brush and tap this into the skin, blend it out. I think it's a beautiful contour. I think it is richly pigmented I'm gonna take this fluffier edge of this brush and just kind of tap out the edges so there's not a harsh beginning or ending where this product was applied. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take what's left on my brush and press here into the side of my nose for a little bit of shading right there on the side and then I'm going to tap into it just a couple of times there and I'm going to take this let me smooth out this creasing all I have is foundation on my lids I am going to use a couple of new give beauty products on my lids I'll get to that in a minute but I just wanted to tap out those creases and apply some of this cream contour right to this section just to add a little bit of depth right there to the outer edge of the eyes. Reaching back in to tap a couple more times to take it down the forehead. And then I'm going to tap in a couple more times and chisel the jawline. So just tapping that into that portion. And 
And this even looks a little harsh to me here on the sides of my nose. So I'm just gonna take my foundation brush, didn't take any more foundation, just what's already on it, and just lightly tapping, just to diffuse that a little bit because I don't like too harsh of a contour there on my nose. And then I'm just gonna blend this out. And that's it. So we will come back and powder bronze in a little bit once I've set the rest of my face. Okay, so I thought about it and I think it's better that I do the liner before I set, just in case I make mistakes. I did add my concealer and my blush and then I thought about it. So I am back to try this product out right here. This is the Painted Up Longwear Mousse Eyeshadow. And um, I want to try to create the wing that Gwen Stefani created in her, um, it was a promo pick for these products. So this does have a little protective cover on it. And there's the product, and I, just a gorgeous shade of blue. There's the shade right there. You can see it's a little metallic there. Just a gorgeous powder blue shade. Now you can use, you can wear this all over the lid. I just want to recreate this wing that I saw. So I am going to just add a little bit more here to my hand. I'm going to use the Rosenben Beauty E26. This has worked really good for products like this. So I'm going to pick up a little bit on this brush and attempt to do a little wing. I'm gonna need more product. It's kind of flaking a little bit. Let's see if I can pick up more right on the tip of the brush. Using my mirror over here on the side just as an additional guide. Just cleaning up a little bit on the lashes because I don't want it to get stuck to the lashes. Okay, there we go, as even as I could possibly do, but that um, liner brush is so, so helpful. It really makes applying liner like that so much easier. So I highly recommend this brush. Really any of the Rosenbend Beauty brushes are just A++. Okay, here's how it's coming along. I am unsure about this blue on my lids. I went ahead and lined the bottom portion with a black liner that I have from Valentino. It has the, um, the liquid liner on one side and then on the other side, it has this navy blue liner. I'm strongly thinking of just filling in that light blue with the navy blue, because I'm just not feeling that blue. is actually kind of pretty because it didn't completely cover it up as you can see so you have specks of that light blue coming out I actually like that a lot better okay so here is that shimmer that I was telling you about that I want to try I kind of want to just sprinkle it in um, just kind of roughly all over the lid. Let's see if I can get the protect the protector off. It's a sifter type of packaging, but it does have this plastic 
cover that I need to take off. So I am just going to drop some of the powder into the top of the cap. There it is right there. I don't want to take a whole lot because I'm not sure how pigmented this is. Let me just show you what it looks like on my finger. There it is. And then that is what it looks like on the back of my hand. It's gorgeous. So I am just going to pick up a little bit more. I'm going to tap off a little bit because I was really hoping for just a light wash of shimmer. So I'll just start over here. And just kind of all over the lid. That is so pretty. It's just like a subtle sparkle. And this is something you can build if you want to, but I just wanted a little bit of shimmer. Just like that, I think that's so pretty. Okay, let's finish off with the bronzer. So reaching back into the palette again, I wanna pick up this bronzing powder. I'm gonna use my Rosen Ben C40 brush and pick up some of this powder on the brush. This brush is made very similarly to the Patrick Ta one, but this shorter end is not as dense, but it has the same shape. So I still like to pick it up here at this edge and then use this top portion to fluff out the edges. So I'm gonna pick up the product in the same way, just kind of tapping on that bottom section. And let me swatch this for you too. There's the bronzer. And there it is swatched on my hand. I think that's a really gorgeous shade. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of move my hair over to the side so you can see the bronzer application. Just gonna kind of start it right in this area. Using that fluffy edge to blend out the edges. That's gorgeous. Really brings the warmth back into the skin. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more See, I'm gonna use the leftover to kind of go down the sides of my nose. I like bronzer better on the sides of my nose rather than contour. Oh, so beautiful, I love that shade. Picking up a little bit more on my brush for my forehead. Hard to do with the hair. Probably should have kept it back, but still gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more, run it down the jawline. Now I have these two different shades of highlight I have um, Platinum Cowgirl, which is the lightest shade in the range. Beautiful packaging. Here's the outer packaging. So there's the lightest shade. So I'm just gonna kind of swirl my hands all through it. That looks a little bit too light for me. I don't know, maybe it'll work. Uh, maybe not, it looks a little ashy on my skin. 
And then the other one that I picked up is Carrot Country, Carrot Like Gold. Same packaging. And here's this one. So swirling my hands, or swirling my finger all around. And let's watch that one right next to the other one. Yeah, this one's gonna be really pretty. So for the highlight, I'm just gonna take my Real Technique setting brush. This is the brush that I love to use for highlights. So I just kind of tapped around in there. That's probably too much. So I'm gonna tap off a little bit of the excess and take this to the high points. Just started raining. up a little bit more for the bridge of my nose I feel like I could use just a tad more so pretty perfect bronze glow for the summer and here is the completed look Let's do a rundown on all of these products that I tried out here today. First off is the brand new Pick It Up Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer from the line. I have mine in the shade Heat Wave. I really was impressed with both of these products within the compact. The Cream Contour, I think, gave the perfect shading for my face. And then going on top of it with this powder bronzer was absolute perfection. I am more of a bronzer girl if you've been watching for a while, but I really do like this contour bronzer duo. I like the fact that there are both options in this palette, and I think that they pair beautifully together. Next up for the highlighters, I did have both of those shades, but I really think Carrot Country is my favorite. It just is more of that bronzy, highlighted look. Love these colors, and I love the fact that there are different shades in here that you can marble together as you swirl your brush into it. I think it gave me the most beautiful glow. It is not chunky to me, and it doesn't look patchy on the skin. I think it looks just like a gorgeous highlight to the skin. So I really love this paired with the Pick It Up Duo. The Painted Up Eyeshadow, I wasn't crazy about using this as a liner because it is more of a shimmery type of pigment. And so it's hard to get that straight edge when using this as a liner. But I love what I came up with in conjunction with the Valentino liner using that navy blue and then the liquid sharper liner to sharpen up the edges. I really love uh, the way that I was able to create that look. So wouldn't have been able to be done without this pigment. So I do like this. I do plan on using this again, maybe all over the lid paired with a darker shadow there on the side and a liner. I think it would be beautiful. So I will be trying it in that way. And then this multi-dimensional eye pigment right here, I'm in love with. I love the color of it. I have one similar to this. It's not a loose formula. It is in a compact. It is the um, Makeup by Mario. Has this beautiful, it's more of an icy shade, but it looks beautiful on the eyes. This reminds me of that, but I love the shade of this one. It's the shade Dazzle. I think it looks gorgeous on the eyes. And I think that is it for the new Give Beauty products that I tried today. I hope you enjoyed as I took you through and tried out all of these new products. I will continue to use these over the month and give you a rundown at the end of the month as to what my thoughts are after having used these products for multiple days in a row. Do you plan on picking up any of these new bronzers or highlighters? 
Let me know what you think of today's look. Leave me all of your comments down below. Can't wait to chat with you. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And as always, I love you guys. Be blessed and I will see you in the very next one. Bye.